Proyo, which is my, we sponsor my, uh, my um, venue here. So we are a company, we are working um, mostly on Linux and open source projects and uh, Tizen is one of them and we are working for Intel as contractor. We are an um, active team and uh, we are located in France, in the west of France, in Brittany. And uh, if you care about Tizen, uh, we've got other speech uh, about it. So I'm not the only one who's speaking about Tizen here. And uh, now to Tizen, we, we, what is this Tizen? Actually, Tizen is something, it's a project which is, uh, belongs to the Linux Foundation. This means uh, Linux Foundation is a copyright holder of all the stuff and so on. It is an open source project, but it is um, supported by some industrial, Intel and Samsung are the, the two of them, the big ones. But not only them, there are also operators and tele hardware vendors, uh, uh, car manufacturers, a lot of people are pushing this project uh, to um, to have a common ground to build products and stuff like this. And um, we are also a community, if you compare to open source community, I can say it's working quite the same. We've got some online resources to share information, to talk about subject and to try to to coordinate ourselves. And there is some IRC channel where there is a lot of people over there. Not very, um, don't say too much, but uh, you can find us there. There have been some, maybe for the two or three past years, a lot of events. Uh, I remember when I was in FOSDEM uh, two years ago, someone was introducing the Tizen project, just after the, the end of the MIGO project. There was something to, to going on, and we didn't know at that time if it was real or not. And if I'm real, this project is real. So, and there are a lot of people online we are talking about Tizen because um, there are, um, they believe that um, Linux should fit in the phone, real Linux. I think Selfish OS is something really great. I have a great um, respect for this stuff, but as I said, this is not mainline Linux because it fits on an Android BSP. So this is a little difference. And of course, there is a worldwide developer and contributors. I've been enabled uh, in these five minutes to talk with someone from Italy, from Korea, and from Bulgaria. So this is a worldwide project, not something typically uh, in one country. So this is good. So do you have some big uh, glasses? This is the story of Tizen. I will not start to say what is in, inside each bubble one by one, but this is the story of uh, Linux distribution. It started uh, maybe uh, a decade ago. There were different projects, and uh, all these projects were stopped, but they never, they never stopped because uh, after the end of one project, one of the offspring is going on. And uh, Tizen is, uh, if you look just uh, one step in the past, it's result of the, when Nokia went away on the Migo project. Uh, Samsung replaced him and still working on with Tizen, with Intel. This is just uh, what you have to remember. Nokia is not part of the Linux anymore, so we have to to find a replacement at the time. Um, and Samsung has some uh, uh, projects in uh, Linux for a while now also. So Tizen was making sense at that time. So, the diff so Tizen is not a single product. This is um, an architecture where you can have several profiles and the same ground, the same base. So, at the moment, we have only two uh, profiles, which is a cell phone and uh, IVI, in-car computer. Um, there are some, there are some stuff specific uh, to mobile and stuff specific to IVI, but there is a lot of in common, so it would be stupid to have two separate projects when you can share the, the, the base. And at the same time, it can be a derivate to many, many use. So at the moment, uh, there are some cameras which are sold by Samsung, which are running Tizen uh, software inside it, and you don't know about it. They didn't even market it, but that's true. 
So if you look at the news, I want to put the Tizen everywhere as I can. So. So now, today, um, there have been two major worries of, of Tizen. The first one was introducing a web API. This means you can create applications using uh, JavaScript and uh, make them running on the device and access to every component. This means uh, connectivity, sens sensor, and so on. And uh, the second version, which was in uh, February this year, this past year, was um, introducing on the mobile platform native API because there was a, a possibility to run native API, so it was normalized as at the time. And uh, there have been uh, three re releases in, uh, in this year, 2.0, 2.1, and 2.2.1. And um, so the project is still alive and going on. And uh, at the end of the past year, the project switched to open development. This is a big difference because in the past, there was a lot of uh, suspicion on the Tizen project because it was more like a code drop project and not something community driven. And uh, I think, and I don't know because I, I wasn't involved in the decision, but uh, if you have something valid, you can go in on by opening in after and not at the beginning. So uh, public, uh, everything is public. The source um, are in Git, so you are, you feel free to check out and uh, pull as a change on in real time. We are using um, uh, tools for reviewing and discussing, so now uh, the project itself, the next release of Tizen, is visible today. Um, also, at that time, we, there have been some projects. We, we are hosting to the Tizen project of other technology like QT5. Um, this is not part of the design of Tizen, but someone did it, so there was no reason to put it outside. If it's working, I'm pretty sure someone will have to use it. Um, so in the future, there is a, a third version of Tizen. We will add other features, like multi-user. On the phone, maybe that's not very uh, relevant, but on a, on a, on a car, it's, it's, um, you can imagine uh, multiple users of the same system. This means uh, different use cases. And, uh, of course, we want to realign upstream projects. We are following them, we are not uh, forking them. And, of course, we learned. So, why another Linux distro? We have got a zillion of them already, so why one more? Um, my uh, Carsten Munk, who was, who was speaking here in the, the previous talk, said uh, it's pretty difficult to have a full Linux support on uh, hardware. But Tizen, since it was uh, supported by hardware vendor, it can provide this. So this means a lot for uh, drivers, developers, and so on. As I said in the past slide, we've got one base and several verticals. This means the project has a design to be uh, to create derivative products. This is something uh, not monolithic. This is designed to, to be expandable. There are also, uh, also a lot of um, in investment into security. We want to have something secure. This means uh, secure for the user, secure for the system, and secure for uh, uh, the um, integrator. If you, if you are talking about putting Linux on car, you expect it to be secure. If your car is at fault and uh, you cannot uh, drive, it's a problem. Uh, of course, connectivity uh, is part of the system, and uh, also the power management and so on. This is uh, something tricky, and uh, when you've got support from hardware people, it's uh, better for the, for the reliability of the project. And uh, there is some uh, API to build application, web application mostly, because uh, there is um, a belief that uh, 
making application is go, should be simpler and uh, there is no reason to, to create them in, into a s native languages if you can do in JavaScript. This is kind of uh, the way of history now. And uh, not uh, this, 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 this the other point. Uh, the UI needs to be very responsive, so you, as a date of today, the toolkit used it was EFL, which is pretty efficient. And uh, this is mandatory for creating uh, products. And uh, as I said, the main difference now, this is we are, is we are using upstream projects and we try to, to follow them uh, as, as, as much as we can. This means, uh, well, you know about it, this means freedom and uh, sharing, uh, sharing effort on, on project and so on. So, I won't detail everything, but this is a, a diagram of a Tizen architecture, but the mobile profile. So, if you care about application, at the top you will see only two, two, two boxes. This means you can use one of those to create application. And um, as I said, everything is exposed. This means uh, there is no limitation about using uh, every feature of the system. So each uh, service is associated to uh, a subset of API and security also. Now the question, someone will ask, but so here is a question now. When are we going to get Tizen device and uh, at the moment, we only have, uh, for the mobile, only reference the, 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 the devices. But uh, if you have a look at the news, there are also some products ready to be shipped. So I don't know, it, don't, it, does, it does not depend on the developers of the project, this is marketing decision and so on. So I would, uh, if you care about it, uh, watch what is going to be shown at uh, Barcelona at the Mobile World Congress this, is this month. And um, you can uh, install IVI instance of Tizen on a uh, supported device. So this means you can actually work on it. And um, there is uh, other projects. We are not part of the, part of the project, but uh, this morning, no, not this morning, just in the, in, the, in the beginning of the afternoon, Leon showed his own Tizen. He just uh, brought it to his uh, hardware, which is a ARM board, and he made a proof of concept tablet. So, and he, he was doing this uh, in silent. <laughs> so this is possible. This, this means if he, if he was able to do it, this means uh, there is no missing point to it's quite easy, <laughs> because you are good. <laughs> um, so if you have something to remember, there is one base and different profile. And the, the one I'm talking about, the base, this is also a Tizen, uh, prof not a profile, because uh, we can say it is a profile, but it is available at the moment. So if you want to pick the base and start talking on it, you can do it. This is pretty new, and um, our team has been involved into this. So ev everything uh, is available online. So for application developer, who in this uh, room has ever created some application for mobile on the... Okay. So who here has a home page uh, or know how to write HTML5? <laughs> HTML, okay. <laughs> So this is possible for you. If you're able to create a web page, you can imagine you can create some web Tizen application. So why HTML5 is a, the proposed API? Because as I said earlier, JavaScript is going very, 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 very wide and everything is in JavaScript, so we have to to, you have to learn it because uh, in desktop you have JavaScript, um, in uh, Qt you have JavaScript, in, 
and there is also Node.js and so on. This is a pretty wide used language now. And Tizen, web runtime is pretty good because uh, it, it was um, at the lead of all the HTML5 tests this past year. And every API are available in JavaScript, so this means uh, you can create a cross-platform application. So if you create some application in JavaScript, you can have it running on Tizen, but uh, with a minor adaptation, you can also run it on Firefox OS and BlackBerry WebWorks and every uh, system who has a, a runtime system, a web runtime. So for the developer, it means you don't have to create the, the application uh, as much uh, as many platforms you want to target. If you are lazy, this is something not to miss. <coughs> so to create application, there is a, a tool which is based on Eclipse. So one editor and one uh, emulator and simulator. This means uh, you have everything to create an, an application and to test it. And there are some command line tools if you want to use it on, with your favorite editors, it, uh, it's also possible. And uh, at the end, uh, you will produce a package ready to be pushed on the store and ready to be installed on the devices. So for the API, I, I said JavaScript. Uh, this means um, standard desired language. And uh, all the API are standardized by w, W3C consortium. And for those who are not uh, in the standard, there are a subset uh, command which is we, which uh, the Tizen API. And if you're looking at C++, uh, the also there are some API, but those one are not standard designed. But uh, if some of them know about uh, previous BADA platform from Samsung, it's quite similar. So we, you don't have to learn something very new. And you can mix uh, HTML5, JavaScript, and, and uh, C++ application. Um, if you know about Android uh, GNI interface between uh, Java and uh, native code, it's something similar. So if you want to use other system or other frameworks, maybe Qt5, maybe, you have, at that time, you have to build uh, your own Tizen platform because it's not supported. So, here's the SDK. So now, let's focus on the core stuff. So, there's the um, development is quite standard. This means mean continuous integration. We have a bug tracker when you can request a feature or uh, alerts for some bugs and so on. And we have some tools uh, to build the, the, the packages. Every, all the software is, is uh, split into several packages. GBS is a tool we are using. It is a, a, um, something mixing uh, um, Git build package, if you know about it. So this is a, a, tool, a tool based on Git, which is downloading uh, the component and building the stuff. Every patches are pushed on stream and reviewed by uh, other developers. And uh, every, every change, or every hour, or every day, or every week, a new release of the system is available. This means you, you can expect your, your change to get in a, in a release candidate very fast. So I said that the, the project switched to open governance. So there are several roles who are um, sp 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 working in the project. I won't detail all those steps, but uh, if you are contributing to the project, you will be a developer. This means you will have something to, to share, and other people will take or, or give you some uh, feedbacks if the change is good or not. And uh, if it's okay, you can expect it to be uh, uh, in the product. Of course, we, you have to be patient and to be proactive because uh, this is a, 
a very large project, so you know if you want to to have your stuff in, you have to take care of it. So basically, if you want to to start doing this, just create an account on a, on a, the infrastructure system. You can uh, upload your SSH key, and if you you have to log it if you're not. Uh, comfortable with it and you can pull the code and try to build and uh, <coughs> eventually patch and uh, submit some contribution. If you don't know where or well, how to share your stuff, use a back tracker. This is uh, someone who will help you to, to go uh, the right way. And if you want to create some ties and derivatives, there is a talk about it from my colleague Stefan which is uh, just in front of me here. Tomorrow, if something, uh, he will detail uh, the process. So basically, uh, you can you can use existing profile of Tizen. This means uh, the version where you can be you will be able to download, and you can just adapt and replace some packages and so on. And at the end, there is a tool we are using, which is Mic, which was this is coming from Migo. Mic is Migo Image Creator. And using this tool, you can join the packages together and make a product. And if you want to create the own, your own profile, I don't know if someone is, is planning to create a Tizen plane or whatever, this is possible also, but you should go to Stefan Talk. <laughs> so if you want to cooperate, um, uh, I, I put this slide because the, 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 the Tizen project is very uh, based on upstream projects. This means if you don't really want to to to, to dig into the Tizen project, you can contribute to it by uh, helping upstream project. This means uh, if you are this if you if you're able to to add feature on Wayland, do it. Please don't. We will uh, will we will will uh, use your your fix also. Um, we are Xorg is not uh, playing in, in 2003, but uh, this is a project we was used in 2002. And uh, for the UI, you can uh, EFL is a project uh, in the uh, which is uh, supported by uh, Tizen at the moment. Um, and for the web on time, uh, every project based on uh, WebKit and WebKit 2 and going on is. Uh, the, the root of the web runtime. So I met some JavaScript developer at some contest, and every of them has a different uh, Jav JavaScript framework, and it was working fine on Tizen. So this means um, this is a, the, the goal of portability of JavaScript. But if you want to have to add support to your JavaScript framework, please do it. And of course, uh, there is. Uh, Lot of uh, common component between uh, projects like Mer, of which is Selfish OS now. Uh, if you if you were there just before, you see there are many components. So this means if you're fixing a bug over there, you can also fix it uh, Tizen side, and the opposite. So I'm open to all questions now. <laughs> it's okay. No, no time for question. But anyway, if you have some question, uh, I'll be there for, for some minutes, and you can ask them at uh, other talk uh, tomorrow. There are maybe three different talks. You said no, no time for question. Okay, I will answer outside if you want.